Welcome back to the collection video series where I go through everything that's in my collection. Most of the stuff, not everything. There's some stuff you probably don't even care about. But this is the big wall that you always see in the videos, whether it's on Instagram or here on YouTube. You usually see all of this stuff. So let's finish this out and show you what I have here. We'll just start and go down the line, pick out some of the hot things that I think you guys would be interested in, and then we'll keep it pushing. So first, let's start up top. We have the Puma slipstream so this is like an old basketball shoe it wasn't a high but they converted it to a low has obviously old school 80s vibes very like heavy thick shoe so shout out to puma for uh sending these over really cool shoe actually i really really like these i've worn these a couple of times and i think i, li I like the vibe of them like with that old school vibe like the big dad shoe sort of feel going down a little bit we have the air max 270 react this is the bauhaus colorway i wear these like crazy that's why they're so beat up and so dirty they definitely need to be cleaned but i haven't cleaned them yet maybe throw some uh get some sneaker wipes and clean them up and uh if you haven't already you can buy some of these sneaker wipes right now i'll put a link down in the description so you can cop some to clean your shoes need to clean these up as well but the bauhaus air max 270 Great shoe. Hyperdunk for Blake Griffin. This was when he was on the Clippers. This is from, I'm gonna say 2013, 2011, dang. This is from 2011. Uh, this was a special version that they released um, at the Staple, well then Staples Center, now, now the Crypto.com Arena, but very, very cool colorway. John Elliott, LeBron's here. So this is the pair that I wear. I actually have another pair of these dead stock. This is the LeBron icon. I, I just, I just absolutely adore this shoe in this series. I wish they would bring them back and make more of them. Minimal branding, you only have the Nike swoosh there on the toe, but if you just saw this shoe like this, it's just a beautiful looking shoe, love it. Stan Smith golf shoe. This was a collab between Vice Golf and Adidas. See that bright orange color, has the Vice detailing there on the inside, just really well done. Undefeated Kobe's, uh, Kobe's coming back. So they're doing pro troll versions, but this is the undefeated version of the Kobe. So great detailing, nice camo print. Has some Jordan ones, Jordan twos. Uh, this is one of my favorite sneakers that I have period in my collection. This is the Jordan four. This is part of the fear pack. So this, I think it's the left foot. This one squeaks. So I don't wear these anymore because it squeaks when I walk there's the air unit is loose. It hasn't popped, but I think the glue just came loose. So it actually squeaks when I walk. So I don't wear these anymore, but I would love to wear these more. Quiet 54. Um, Jordans, I uh, haven't worn these either. I, I only went to the tournament one time. Uh, I would love to go back. I think that would be really cool. But yeah, I like this is a really cool color. It's almost like a shadow colorway. Air Max 90, this is a Mars colorway. It has like the Mars landing or the Mars surface, I should say. I'm a space nerd, so that's why this kind of, that's why I bought those. Never worn them, but bought them. This is the Animal Instinct 2.0. I bought these because I did this thing with the Phoenix Suns and I wanted to wear these on stage. And so I wore these because I did like a charity event for them. Under Armour, this is the Xbox actual collab with Under Armour on Steph Curry's shoe. So you can see it has like the print right there on the side. Under Armour and uh, Xbox, not a collab you thought, but the X makes sense. The Under Armour, although that's a UA, but looks like an X. Some AI love, always gotta show love to AI. Have the questions, always gotta respect the man. Some Vapor Max, patent leather Jordan one. I thought these were going to crease as most people did, but I've worn these a few times and you can see they haven't creased at all. Patent leather or whatever they use here actually is working really well. Taking those cuts really well, or those bends and creases really well. They do them better than the regular pairs. Some Pharrell Hue NMDs, some more Vapor Max, Adidas Golf Parley, Puma Basketball Shoes. This is a one you don't really see very often. This is, oh, too short. This is the Flyknit Racer. You don't see these really anymore. These were, I think, 2012, 2013. You don't really see these that often, but they're really comfortable, super lightweight shoes. Was it 2012? Let me see, 2013. Yeah, you just don't see these anymore, but on like OG sneaker heads, you see the OGs kind of rocking those. Up here, we have some Jordan 4s, the Space Hippie 01, another pair that was part of my marathon journey. Pegasus 32, this is the actual shoe that I ran the marathon in. Xbox or Microsoft was nice enough to send me an actual controller that matched the shoe, which I thought was really cool. And they even put my time 
here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Three hours, 45 minutes and 33 seconds. I haven't used this controller obviously, but just a really cool memento from the team at Microsoft for hooking that up. Very thoughtful of them. Some Pumas, some Samba golf shoes, shell toes, classic Adidas sneaker. Like you have to have a pair of these. In addition to everything else you have, gotta have a pair of shell toes in your collection. Just a classic sneaker. And they look really, really dope. Very cool like sneaker piece. This is the Crazy Light. I think this was the 9.7 ounce version of the Crazy Light when Adidas was going super, super light with all their basketball shoes. Um, so always love this, love this colorway. Just a super, really, a really dope colorway. I'm gonna say 2012 as well, 2011. 2011, so yeah. Kobe 8 Pit Viper, again, hope these are some of the colorways that they bring back when they bring the Kobe brand back. Just really cool. I've worn these a couple of times. I didn't actually play in this colorway because I had a, a few Kobe 8s back then. Didn't get a chance to play in that one, but hope they bring it back when they bring back the Kobe brand. The 990 V5, uh, made in USA version. She has a made in USA tag there on the tongue. Super cool. Wore these a couple of times, not often. PlayStation Air Force One. This is like an official collab between PlayStation. If you're into the PlayStation vibe. So I've got both sides represented. The Xbox with the Under Armour, PlayStation with the Air Force One for Nike. Some LeBrons got these at a uh, foot action back when they used to call the Fox Hills Mall the Fox Hills Mall. Now it's like the Culver City Plaza or something like that, something crazy. But from the Fox Hills Mall, the foot action there, golf shoes, some Pharrell's, uh, more golf shoes, Air Max One, more Kobe's. Hopefully they uh, bring more of these back. Brings back those old school Kobe vibes. You can get a Kobe Athlete, all white pair, Vulture Boost. As I said, I'm not a big fan of white shoes, so I've never actually worn these that will destroy these in one wears cafe du monde Saucony collab with sneaker politics inspired by the beignets which uh there's a bit of a controversy online some of people say beignets are just fancy versions of funnel cake but you know i'll let you guys decide in the comments what you think about that mcm puma collab some adidas under armor oh the jordan <laughs> jordan 29 you don't see many of these out in the streets anymore probably my favorite basketball shoe og iverson questions shoot everyone should have in their collection stop denying iverson his just do the shooter mcgavin ultra boost happy gilmore actually came with cigars and then you have the the ultra boost and it has the the finger right there very cool detail like they did a really good job I actually saved the paper and all the stuff that these came in inside here because I thought it was such a cool, such a cool thing. So cool. Off-white Vapor Max that I haven't worn in years that have just literally been sitting up there. So off-white Vapor Max, these have just literally been sitting up there and I haven't worn them. You can see they're starting to yellow. Actually, it looks really cool that they're yellowing too because it was just clear, but now like that brown, black, actually, oh, looks nice, I like that. Huh. I don't know what Jordan ones these are. Let's see. Oh, just a GR pair, just blue, white, black, nothing. Nothing special, just another another pair of Jordans I shouldn't have bought. Undefeated AF1 dunk. I actually want to get another pair of these because I just absolutely love this. Love this color, love the textures, love these. I need to get another pair of those. And keeping with the Jackie Robinson vibes. The Jackie Robinson dunks, these came out earlier this year. Might be, maybe early this year. Very cool detailing all over. Some more Kobe Protros, undefeated Kobe 5. So these just been sitting in the box. Undefeated logo there on the back. This is the pair that I have on my feet. The Reimagined Jordan 1. This is another pair that I want to wear more. This is the Sakai Waffle. I haven't worn this colorway yet. I just I want to wear these like big and bulky. Bought these on eBay, I believe. Just a pair that I haven't had a chance to wear yet, but definitely want to wear these soon. I like the colors and like the way this looks. See some gel light threes, Space Jam 11s, pair of dunks here. This was with a skate shop here in LA, the Brooklyn Projects. This is their Nike SB Dunk High, but they came in this like plastic bag with like blood looking stuff inside of it like dried blood almost this is a jordan one low some kobe's jordan three and my man yeah i'm a man yeah spider-man jordan ones this is the original one from into the spider verse that not a lot of people were happy with they said it wasn't different enough from a regular air jordan one even though it does have the kirby dots all over it we're upset that it wasn't different enough i thought it was fine 
it was very subtle. This was a special box, a promo box that they did. So this one is not, wasn't gonna go to, um, this is not the box that the normal shoes come in. So I got very lucky with that showing up. The on cloud shift. These were, I was gonna try to run in these and I just haven't done it yet. Dude, everybody talks about how comfortable they are, the on running shoes, and I just haven't tried them out yet. Just haven't had a chance to run in them yet. But I gotta give them some burn because everybody talks about how comfortable they are. This is the Food Fight Saucony's, the LeBron 20, the Travis Scott, Jordan 1 Lowe's. This is the Fragment collab. Some ISPA stuff, some Dames, the Union Jordan 1. This is an interesting sneaker. The QNMD S1 Riot. It's almost like a hiking shoe, but like a sneaker. It's a hiking boot almost. It's like a sneaker boot, I guess you would call it. But it's massive. Like, look how big that is. It's like a Adidas sneaker hiking boot that they did with Pharrell. Um, this one obviously has some great textures on it and some great materials. I'm not mad at it. And uh, shout out to the extra large container store boxes because otherwise I don't know how I would make any of that stuff fit. Those are way up there, can't reach them. That's the LeBron 10 when they were doing like lifestyle versions of LeBron shoe. So that's way up there. We have Flyknit Jordan 1s, Royal Colorway, All-Star New Orleans Jordan 1s that have been beat up pretty badly. We have the Military Blue Jordan 4s. Air Jordan 3. This is the reimagined Air Jordan 3 or reimagined Jordan 3. We have the Adidas FWD2 or the Adidas Forward 2. This has like the, the lattices at the bottom. It's all like 3D printed here at the bottom. Super interesting design, a unique sneaker and really comfortable too. This is something you don't see very often. It's a weatherized version of the Air Jordan 4. So like if you're in cold weather, like this has like a thicker material to keep your feet warm and the upper is made with like a, a different material to protect it. This is one of the probably better leather on a Jordan 4 from a few years ago. Air Max 1, these need to be washed. Wonderful travel shoe, lightweight, comfortable, almost unbeatable when it comes to being a travel shoe. Fly knit chukka golf shoe, they don't make these anymore. Nice shoe that you can wear on and off the golf course. New Balance 327, another cool shoe for New Balance. I really like these. They have a ton of colorways in these and they're not super expensive. We have the Cement 4s. This is the golf version. So if you like golfing in Jordan 4s, that's a good one. The best one is probably the SB that I turned into a golf shoe. We have the Jordan 13. Haven't played in these, but this is a golf shoe. They have that golf bottom where they were using like the Tiger Woods bottom on these, but they don't do this anymore. I wish they would go back to that. Some LeBrons. I think I wore once to play basketball in. This is the 16. Has uh, like that fly knit like material on the upper. Another pair of 29s. Again, great basketball shoe. The best basketball shoe out there in my my humble opinion. It's more like dressy shoes like the Nike Sakai, another Sakai waffle. This is a black one. I wear this quite a bit just because like the toned down colors and just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Some more Sakai's and this, the Yeezy. Probably the Yeezy 2. Probably the most popular Yeezy 2. These have been beat up quite a bit. I've worn them everywhere from the golf course to concerts and everywhere in between. So these have taken a beating, but I think this is a perfect segue. So from here, we'll go over to the storage unit and you'll see that in the next video where we have a ton more sneakers. If you think you saw a lot in this series of everything that's in here, wait till we get over to the storage unit because there's way more. That's where all like the big boxes and all that stuff is. Those are gonna be some uh, really interesting videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and all of that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Got a lot of cool stuff coming. This collection series, happy we're going through all this. I get to got like relive some of the memories of the sneakers that I have that I haven't seen in a long time. All right, let's head over to the storage unit for the next video and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Got a few more, there's some Union Dunks here, the Air Max 1, the Big Bubble. I'm um, on Air 4s are really nice. Diamond Pumas, Tiffany Air Force 1s. For me not to like Air Force 1s, I'm sure pulling out a lot. So this is the Tiffany Air Force 1s. Comes with the, all the different color laces. And then the actual shoes, uh, bought these. Have the little Tiffany tag in the back. Bought these from the homies over at Studio 23. Oh, the box, see the box on the inside with a there on the inside. So Air Max 1s, Air Max 1s, Air Max 1s. So this pair is a GR that I think more people need to be excited about or should have been excited about. Bought these for retail and it's just a crazy Air Max 1. That is so dope.
and nobody cared about these and that broke my heart. I thought this would be a shoe that more people would be after, like high quality, crazy materials, super unique look, but they just sat on the shelves and I just walked in a store and bought them, which is good, but also like, oh, why aren't people checking for these? Oh, up here. This one first, Jackie Robinson, Air Force One. I think these were super limited. This is a special box that they sent for me. I have the Pony 50th anniversary. Now this, is like top notch packaging and everything. See the sneaker it comes with a wooden shoehorn and then the shoes like just magnificent. This is a heavy, heavy shoe. Beautiful leather on the shoe, all the gold accents everywhere from the lace dubre to the lace eyelets to the heel counter here, the hang tag, the tips of the laces, everything is just, just a really well done. And they even throw in like the real like wood shoe trees for the 50th anniversary. If you wanna stop your shoes from sneaking, they actually have versions of the shoe tree that help your shoes from sneaking in, in addition to helping your shoe keep the shape. So I would definitely check for those. But again, shout out to Pony for sending this over. But this is like what high quality sneaker looks like. And they did it right. It was for their 50th anniversary. So it should be like super high quality and well done. I would love to see more sneaker brands do stuff like this. And especially with this kind of packaging. I mean, you cannot beat this. This is just, just beautifully done.